Imagine waking up every day pouring your heart and soul into everything you do, whether it's relationships, work, or personal projects, only to feel like your efforts go unnoticed, as if you're shouting at the top of your lungs, but all you hear is silence. Struggle is a silent battle that many face in the quest for recognition and self-worth. The desire for validation extends beyond what we do to who we are as individuals, a shared longing transcending age, profession, and status. Let's journey back over two millennia to ancient Greece and Rome, where philosophers of Stoicism like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus grappled with similar questions about purpose, value, and self. Despite the distance of time and the advancements in society and technology, the essence of our human struggle remains unchanged. Stoicism not only provides philosophical concepts, but also serves as a practical toolkit to navigate the complexities of daily life. These ancient strategies, honed through centuries of observation and reflection, surprisingly resonate with the challenges of today. When reflecting on the timeless lessons of Stoicism, we come to a crucial crossroad that forces us to question our fundamental values. Is the true measure of our worth found in external achievements and accolades or in our character, actions, and reactions to life's challenges? The Stoic strategies we are about to explore promise not only profound insights, but also actions and methods to enhance your sense of worth, transcending the superficial to reach something deeper and more enduring. And if you've ever felt overlooked or undervalued, then the journey ahead is about changing that narrative. It's not just about stoicism, but also about transforming your life through practical, actionable wisdom. So whether you're new here or have been with us on this journey, it's about developing resilience and embracing the kind of wisdom that stands up to the challenges of time. Be prepared to see how this journey can change you and stay with us as we uncover the secrets to not only being seen, but also recognized and valued for your true self. One, assess your time value. Let's talk about something we all have, but often squander, our time. Every morning when the alarm clock goes off, marking the beginning of a new day, it's all too easy to hit the snooze button and let those precious minutes slip away into oblivion. We often catch ourselves saying, I'll do that tomorrow, postponing not only tasks, but also our dreams and aspirations. This habit of procrastination not only steals our time, but also diminishes our awareness of our own value and potential. The core challenge here is not just managing time, but seeing it as our most valuable resource. The struggle we all face is the illusion of unlimited time. We treat each day as if they were endless, pushing what truly matters to some indefinite future, sadly often never materializing. The conflict between knowing time is finite and behaving as if it were infinite leads to a life filled with regrets and what ifs. Seneca's words resonate deeply. It is not that we have a short time to live but that we waste a lot of it. Life is long enough, and a sufficiently generous amount has been given to us for the highest achievements if it were all well invested. The solution lies in applying a stoic approach to time management, recognizing each moment as a non-renewable resource and acting with purpose and urgency. Imagine the profound shift in your life when you start each day with clear intentions, focusing on what truly matters and cutting out the noise that distracts you from your purpose. By valuing your time, you signal to yourself and others that your life, goals, and contributions 
are immensely valuable. This mindset not only elevates your self-worth, but also inspires those around you to consider how they allocate their time to reflect on Seneca's wisdom. Ask yourself, how can I act today to make the most of the time I have? Let this question guide your actions and decisions, turning each day into evidence of your worth and legacy. The next strategy might just be the key to unlocking deeper appreciation for value in unexpected places. Two, prioritize self-care. Imagine this. You're at the end of your rope with a jam-packed schedule from early morning until late at night, filled with tasks you don't want to do but have to in order to meet the needs and desires of others, not yourself. Your smartphone constantly runs out of battery faster than you can recharge it. This scenario is not only familiar, but also a reality for many, leaving us feeling exhausted, undervalued, and sometimes even forgotten. The conflict here is becoming increasingly profound. It's an internal struggle between the desire to be with others and the often overlooked necessity to prioritize our own happiness. It's a balancing act that many have tilted towards exhaustion rather than harmony. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king, once advised, he who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. This quote touches on the crux of the dilemma, reminding us that the foundation of a fulfilling life begins with inward focus and self-care. According to this Stoic principle, self-care is not selfish, but necessary. By ensuring our own cup is always full, we equip ourselves to contribute more authentically and effectively to others. This shift in perspective is not only about self-preservation, but also about enhance our ability to make meaningful contributions to the world around us. How can we begin to prioritize ourselves in a way that deeply enriches our value both to ourselves and to those we interact with? Consider this and contemplate on the small daily self-care actions that can lead to a more balanced and respected life. Curious about building this self-care foundation to further enhance your awareness of your own value? In our next strategy, filled with unexpected turns and profound insights, we'll explore just that. 3. Listen more, talk less. Have you ever found yourself in a conversation eagerly waiting for your turn to speak, silently rehearsing your response instead of truly listening to what the other person is saying? This scene is all too familiar in our fast-paced world where the art of listening has taken a backseat to the urgency of being heard. It's a world where conversations often resemble competitions and the loudest speaker is deemed to be in control. The challenge at hand is the struggle between the desire to assert oneself and the patience to listen to others. In a society that celebrates extroversion and quick reactions, the silent power of listening is often overshadowed. We are conditioned to believe that our value in a conversation comes from the weight of our words, leading to a common internal battle, the fear that silence is mistaken for ignorance or indifference. There's a saying often attributed to Epictetus that we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This simple yet profound guidance encourages us to embrace the stoic virtue of listening, a skill that not only allows us to truly understand others, but also to reflect on our own thoughts and beliefs. By prioritizing listening over speaking, we create opportunities for learning, growth, and deeper connections. Practicing listening more than speaking can transform our interactions, leading to richer 
and more meaningful relationships. Valuing the perspectives of others as well as our own creates a space where everyone feels heard and respected. So how can we implement this stoic strategy in our daily lives to nurture a fuller and more respected existence? Start by actively listening in your next conversation, being fully present and engaged, and notice the difference it makes. Four, stay true to yourself. Standing at the crossroads of life, facing the choice between following the crowd or exploring your own path, is like standing at the edge of a forest. The well-worn trail is clear and inviting, but there's something inside you drawn to the unmarked path, promising a unique adventure. This dilemma has existed for ages. Conformity versus authenticity. It's an internal tug of war between fitting in and standing out, between staying silent to please others and speaking up for your own truth. We all feel that pressure to mold ourselves into what we think the world wants, often at the cost of our true selves. It's a battle between the comfort of acceptance and the fear of rejection. As the Stoic philosopher Lucius Aeneas Seneca once said, if you wish to be loved, love. This simple yet profound statement cuts to the core of our struggle, suggesting that the key to being valued and appreciated isn't changing ourselves to fit into the world, but rather dedicating our authentic selves to the world. By living authentically, we attract attention and respect stemming from genuine connections and mutual appreciation. So how do we cherish our true selves in a seemingly conformity-rewarding world? It starts with small acts of courage, choosing honesty over appeasement, passion over indifference, and uniqueness over uniformity. It's precisely in those moments of choosing authenticity that we truly begin to be valued for our real selves not just for the personas we pretend to be. Ask yourself, where in life are you dimming your light to fit others' expectations? How can you implement this timeless strategy in your daily life to nurture a fuller and more respected existence? Remember, the journey to empowering yourself starts with the courage to be yourself. Five. Accept help from others. Have you ever struggled under the weight of a task, feeling like you're climbing a mountain alone, standing at the foot of a towering peak, eyes fixed on the steep path ahead? The determination is there, but part of you wonders if you can truly reach the summit on your own. This is when we discover the transformative power of allowing others to help you. Sometimes the obstacle isn't just the mountain in front of us, but the belief that asking for help is a sign of weakness. It's a silent battle of pride where admitting the need for support can feel like admitting defeat. We're living in a world that often celebrates the lone hero, creating the illusion that success is a solitary endeavor. But this mindset overlooks the power of collaboration and community. Marcus Aurelius once remarked that humans exist for each other's sake, so teach them or bear with them. This profound insight invites us to reconsider our solitary struggles. Aurelius reminds us that our connection to one another isn't a burden, but a source of strength. Accepting help isn't surrendering our independence, but recognizing that together we are stronger, more capable, and can climb higher than we ever could alone. Embracing the support of others brings fresh perspectives, shared strength, and the beauty of human connection. So how can we implement this stoic strategy in our daily lives to cultivate a more fulfilling, and respected life.
Perhaps it starts with a simple step, reaching out. Whether it's asking for advice, sharing a burden, or offering your strength to someone in need, challenge yourself to foster a supportive community. As we reflect on the power of collective strength, what other Stoic strategies do you think await us on the path to becoming more valuable, not just as individuals, but as part of a greater whole? 6. Maintain composure and creativity. Navigating the storms of life with grace and elegance often seems like a feat reserved for a select few. But here we stand at Lesson 6, uncovering a strategy that is both a challenge and a solution. Maintaining composure and serenity. Each day brings its trials from the rush of deadlines to the unpredictable nature of personal relationships. Amidst these whirlwinds, maintaining serenity isn't just a defiant act, it's an art. In this battle, where stress and pressure seek to overthrow our inner peace, lies a universal struggle. Heightened emotions and mounting pressures tempt us to lash out or crumble under stress. This inner tug of war not only tests our resolve, but often leaves us feeling drained and diminished in the eyes of ourselves and those around us. Seneca, another Stoic philosopher, eloquently said, the best remedy for anger is delay. This profound insight acts as a beacon, reminding us that the power to maintain composure lies in our ability to pause, breathe, and reflect before reacting. It is in the space between stimulus and response that we find our strength, our dignity, and ultimately our worth. By mastering the art of composure and serenity, we not only navigate life's storms more gracefully, but also earn respect and admiration from those around us. So how do we cultivate this stoic calmness in times of stress? It begins with small daily practices, taking a deep breath before reacting to provocation, stepping away to gather our thoughts, and approaching each situation with the mindset that every challenge is an opportunity to showcase our composure. Consider the moments where maintaining your composure could turn a potential conflict into a moment of growth. How can you implement this stoic strategy in your daily life to cultivate a more fulfilling and respected life? The journey doesn't end here. It only begins. 7. Make Necessary Adjustments Today, we delve into a realm often overlooked yet crucial for nurturing self-respect and upholding personal values, the art of maintaining privacy. In an age where sharing every facet of life seems not just normal but expected, we face the daunting challenge of discerning what to share and what to keep sacred within our hearts. The constant stream of photo updates and check-ins has blurred the lines between public and private life, leaving us struggling to find a balance between openness and personal sanctuary. This internal conflict stems from the desire to connect and be seen, juxtaposed with the need to protect our inner world. This challenge is amplified in an age where the pressure to overshare is omnipresent, leading to vulnerable moments when our private lives become overly public, threatening our peace and personal boundaries. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, once said, either be silent or, if you speak, say only what is necessary and in a few words. This quote urges us to pursue the Stoic endeavor of selective sharing, recognizing that some experiences, thoughts, and emotions hold greater value when kept private. By safeguarding certain aspects of our lives, we not only protect our inner peace, but also foster a sense of self-respect and esteem from those around us. So how can we implement this strategy in our lives to enhance our worth and authenticity? It begins with mindful examination and setting boundaries, 
respecting our comfort levels. Reflect on which aspects of your life you wish to keep private or share with only a select few. As we continue this reflection, let's ponder the balance between sharing and privacy and how maintaining a private sanctuary can enrich our relationships and self-worth. Feeling this frustration? Stand up against societal pressures, protect your privacy, and assert your right to be respected in a world that constantly demands openness. Choosing to keep things private is a sign of strength, not weakness. Let this anger fuel you to safeguard your privacy and enhance your self-worth in your daily life. 8. Continuously Learn and Grow Every day we walk a path filled with opportunities for growth, yet it's easy to find ourselves stuck in a rut, going in circles without moving forward. You may have experienced that moment when you yearn to learn something new, but something invisible seems to hold you back. It's like standing at the edge of a vast, unexplored forest, hesitating to take the first step into the unknown. The struggle we face is the comfort of the familiar versus the uncertainty of growth. Human nature gravitates towards what we know, but this often comes at the cost of our development. The fear of failure or feeling not good enough can paralyze us preventing us from embracing experiences that promise growth and enrichment. Seneca said, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, but because we do not dare, they are difficult. This quote illuminates our conflict, reminding us that the barrier to growth isn't the complexity of new knowledge or skills, but the hesitation to embrace the challenge. By adopting a mindset of continuous learning and growth, we can overcome these barriers, enriching our lives and enhancing our value to ourselves and others. So how can we foster this continuous growth in our daily lives? It starts with embracing the unknown, stepping into new experiences with curiosity instead of fear. Every day brings a new lesson if we are open to it. Reflect on areas of your life where you've hesitated to grow and consider small action steps to challenge yourself in those areas. 9. Preserve a sense of mystery. As we explore the nuanced art of self-valuation, we arrive at a powerful yet less blatant strategy, maintaining an air of mystery. Think of those moments when you encounter someone who doesn't lay all their cards on the table, that person, with their depth, revealed gradually over time, not through boastful displays, but measured disclosure. This subtlety invites respect, sparks intrigue, and exemplifies the magnetic allure of the mysterious. This strategy is a dance between revelation and concealment, challenging in an era where the impulse to share is omnipresent. The struggle lies in discerning what to reveal and what to withhold, recognizing that in those gaps, respect and intrigue simmer. The tendency to overshare can dilute the essence of our experiences, leaving little to the imagination and, ironically, little for others to seek. Balthazar Gracian a philosopher whose wisdom echoes the stoic emphasis on prudence, advised, mix a little mystery in everything, and the most mysterious things excite the most reverence. Even when you explain, be not too explicit. This quote encourages us to navigate life with a sense of deliberate restraint. By doing so, we not only protect our inner sanctum, but also elevate our presence in the eyes of others. As we consider how to implement this strategy in our daily lives, let's ponder the value of what remains unseen. Could withholding certain aspects of our lives actually enrich our interactions and deepen the respect others hold for us? 
Embrace the art of mystery and observe as the world leans in closer, eager to discover the depths of your character. Continue this curiosity, not as a conclusion to our story, but as an invitation to explore uncharted territories in our personal growth. What mysteries will you choose to keep and how will they shape how the world values you? Throughout this journey, we've explored nine stoic strategies to make us more valued, each offering a unique lens to examine our interactions and personal growth. But here's a twist. Recognizing that the desire to be valued more by others might have made us miss the core of Stoicism. The deeper truth invites us to understand that our inherent worth is never up for debate. It teaches us that the pursuit of external validation often reflects our misguided notions of what it means to be truly valued. True self-worth is discovered not through the eyes of others, but in the quiet confidence of living by our principles and embracing self-acceptance. Now, we turn this page and ask you, which insights resonated with you the most? Which strategies sparked a shift in how you perceive your worth? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below, for it is through our shared experiences that we find strength and inspiration. Remember, the journey of realizing our self-worth isn't a destination, but a path we walk daily, filled with opportunities for growth and understanding. If you'd like to continue exploring the wisdom of Stoicism and how it can illuminate your life, be sure to subscribe and join our community. Let's embrace this ongoing adventure of uncovering our true value, seeking peace, not in external accolades, but in the richness of our inner lives.